Good evening everyone and welcome CPL Major uh, round 2 uh, Tonight we will see the match uh, where uh, Polish Gun, BWP, uh, B1 party will fight against uh, uh, Germany uh, one of the top guns if not the best one uh, MOD the most active German gun I would say uh, So what maps we are not gonna see for sure we are not gonna see this evening uh, Ardennes and we are not gonna see Hellburn. Uh, what maps I will be played? Uh, the uh, MOD picked uh, Pilsen, uh, which will be the second map, and the first map uh, uh, choice picked by uh, uh, BWP is Kasserin. Uh, Kasserin has got uh, a lot of open space, uh, and the second map, which is Pilsen, will be a really close quarter combat. So uh, the match will be really, really interesting. Uh, so, PvP, uh, Cliff, IMX, Chaffee, Fula, T54, Lightweight, uh, Catch, Original, Merv, Pack, uh, Ice Freeze, uh, Starshack, BDQK, T32, uh, Showtime, 110. Uh, MOD, IMX, Chaffee, as well, same as uh, Tank as on all, both sides. Uh, SG, David, uh, T54, Lightweight, uh, the exact same. Uh, Solo, Fima, one more Light Tank, that's uh, WZ, 132. Uh, um, uh, from Heavy Tanks, uh, Sabas and Goldsky Ice Freeze, uh, Seb uh, Online uh, and uh, Cruel 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 T32. Uh, pardon for uh, the spelling, but uh, this uh, nick is a bit strange. Uh, maybe it sounds better in Germany. Hard to say. So, let's see what we're on. Uh, what surprised uh, us pretty much is that uh, T32 has been spotted already. Uh, ice Freeze in the one hand, uh, in which is the type of the Ice Free, but uh, much more sniping uh, tank. Um, it's still uh, hidden, they are still hidden. Uh, light tanks uh, are trying to defend the flag uh, on the open spots, open space. Uh, there is WZ132, uh, which was uh, spotted a moment ago. There's a T54 lightweight here. Uh, the T32 has been spotted because there is the first light tank from this side. Uh, Yes, there is a, a Chaffee, uh, there is a little one Chaffee and he has been spotted by the T-32s. Uh, so, now, interesting, uh, BWP is trying to defend the, the flag from uh, far away from the flag. Uh, they are trying to hold the advance uh, of the MOD far away from the flag. It is a good idea, I'm not saying it is not, uh, but it is a good idea, uh, as uh, even if uh, MOD will break through the uh, defense of BWP, they will still have a uh, far away to get to their uh, flag. Uh, but as Catherine is one of the biggest maps at this moment in the game, I would say the biggest one of the biggest maps because there's few of them uh, the size of the Catherine. t is still on defense here, being spotted but waiting for MOD to do something. Uh, I think that uh, earlier we will see something uh, has been uh, that's gonna be uh, done uh, with the light tanks. Exactly what I said. Uh, uh, I knew it will happen. Uh, full spotted uh, T David as well. So we see the light tanks battle first. That's for sure. MD is trying to advance to spot heavy tanks of. Uh, BWP, they spotted the MF pack, they know the MF pack is there, they know where are the T32, they know where is one of the light tanks. Uh, most probably they know or they trying to guess where is the Chaffee. David is uh, shooting into the Showtime, uh, which has been spotted. Showtime is going back. And that's uh, what cost him 270 damage, uh, being spotted and being hit by a T54 lightweight. Yes, MOD now already knows uh, the one heavy tank moved back and they are trying to advance. They have been spotted now, going through the town, so they are covered by buildings against uh, enemy fire. They are going to push T-32s, that's a really great uh, idea to, to do. Uh, they are pushing four tanks on uh, two heavy tanks, uh, which uh, cannot be covered by the fire of the IS-3 which uh, surprisingly trying to do something but it may be uh, far too late for the T-32s uh, Billy under fire, uh, Sebo 9 on focus uh, 
Exactly, that's what happens now. Bielix under fire, whoa! B Starshak has been burning, but Starshak has the fire extinguisher. Uh, Automatic fire extinguisher helped him, Bielix didn't. Bielix has been burned, Seb has been done 1-1. One, one. Uh, but those three heavy tanks, plus it were, they are gonna finish T2 in a moment. Seb has got hit and tracked, uh, but that's not enough. They got much more HP here and uh, better organization. Starshak has been done, 2-1. Two, 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 uh, can't see what's going on with light tanks. Uh, Tkach has got uh, pretty much uh, heavy hits as well. Merpak is pushing. Uh, I think that uh, this uh, move of the uh, 110 there. I'll move there for a second for a few for a few months. Yes, yes. Let's see the light tanks battle. Chaffee has been uh, finished. Uh, the fuel was a bit too late. Uh, now uh, the um, much more advantages on the MOD side. They got more tanks, more firepower. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we know that Kato original was been has, has been killed on the side of the uh, heavy tanks. So it's 4 to 1 for MOD. MOD is uh, pretty much leading this game at this moment. Uh, Sabas uh, has finished another of the uh, BWP players. Uh, Fulas uh, can uh, try to finish the Soloma. Yes, he did it. Uh, the David uh, missed uh, uh, showtime has been done by Cruemel at uh, 6 to 2. Uh, David still fighting with Fulas and David finished the Fulas 7 to 2. MOD winning attack on Kasserin. Uh, as we can, as we have seen, the biggest, uh, the biggest mistake that BWTP has done was moving the 110 from the uh, flank where it was heavy uh, to help light tanks, and that's what let MOD to push their tanks. Uh, Ice Freeze didn't manage to attack in time, and as we can see, MOD winning with pretty much more advantage. That's that's massive what happened here on attack. Of course it happens, yeah, this is the game where tactics and uh, where a reaction on tactics on what we have spot on the map is absolutely important. Not only your W and 8 as a single player counts, you gotta exactly try to make decisions on the fly on what happens on the map and this is what happened here <coughs> I will inform the clans that they got three minutes to pick tanks from now on message sent so we got one year for MOD on Catherine Catherine is a map picked by BWPU this is the map they were where they feel uh, much more stronger as they pick the map as the home map and they lost the defense on it. MOD won the advance, the attack. Now MOD is gonna uh, try to defend themselves on Catherine. Let's see what uh, BYLN party prepared for us on that map. <coughs> Guys, got three minutes. We can, uh, in the meantime, I can try to present these clans a bit. <coughs> Both of the clans are experienced in CPL. This is one of the uh, major uh, decisions why they are playing in CPL major. They are not playing in uh, open with all the new fresh meat. Uh, they are playing in uh, CPL major the old silver series they are trying to win to uh, take their spots in cpl pro <coughs> mod had a uh, one season break now they are back and looks like they are in a good condition uh, bwp didn't break up the season but um, uh, they have some changes and they uh, withdraw from cpl pro where they used to play on tier 10 and move back to cpl major was it a good decision? We will see this season or on these games that are oncoming here. Definitely, uh, whatever motivated each clan to make these decisions was something that will give us a lot of good games to see. <coughs> each clan is supposed to play six games uh, in a group phase three games uh, of the first matches and three games in the rematches because each clan is playing each clan twice first as a home team and the second time as an away team
<coughs> what else we can say? We can say that MOD is not massive gun. They're really active uh, German competitive gun. Uh, they're playing in German commu uh, competitive community league. Uh, they're playing in CPL. Uh, 20 members. Uh, the clan has been founded in uh, 20 of uh, 20 of uh, February 2K17. 20 members. So it's they are not massive, but the small clans usually got advantage of playing well, much more well together. So uh, this may be a small. Uh, Maybe a small thing that managed to make them all MOD being uh, the clan that got more advantage here. MOD move or die. That's exactly what the full name of the clan is. Uh, BWP is be wild and party. Uh, both clans experienced uh, BWP much more bigger. Uh, BWP got uh, 34 members uh, in the clan, and uh, uh, the clan is much more older because uh, the clan was. Uh, created on 19 of February of 2K16. Uh, that means they, uh, their clan uh, has been in a world of tanks uh, PS4 a year longer than MOD, so the players know themselves better. Uh, even that they got a bigger clan, you know, that's a year of experience altogether. Of course, we know that through the time the players changes, uh, the decisions uh, in the clans changes, and so on and so on. So. Uh, we will be able to see some story on on them. Uh, we know that some of the uh, players were in different clans earlier. Now they are here. Uh, each clan that's longer on the scene has to experience this. N let's see what happens. Uh, MOD is gonna now defense. What now uh, also is worth to mention is that um, from st statistics uh, side. Uh, we can clearly say that MOD got a lower WN8. I think I, I'm I'm mentioning this from some uh, from some time. Uh, WN8 doesn't win the games, uh, but uh, people love to know as much statistics as possible. So uh, I will mention that uh, BWP has uh, WN8 uh, on a level around uh, 1,450 on average, uh, while MOD is nearly 1,800. So uh, there is. Uh, pretty much big difference between those two guns, but like I said, the WNA does not win the battles uh, uh, by itself. You definitely need uh, both uh, of that. You need WNA, which is uh, like um, uh, showing you a bit, uh, a bit show, shows you a bit about how the players do. In the poop games, on the random battles, but it doesn't say you how they play as a clan on a competitive scene. And <coughs> we will see definitely a bit uh, changes here in the rosters that uh, of tanks that were picked. I made a mistake again, and I forgot again to move the filter. I'll do that exactly. If I not forget again. After this round and MOD, it was a mix up here. Uh, they beat uh, TFT for that, but uh, the no changes here. We got Sabas and uh, Seba Online, uh, Sabas and uh, pardon, and Solofima in Ice Freeze, uh, Seba Online and Krumel on t 32 and Gold Sky in IMX uh, 5100 on side BWP, uh, BWP, Clue, MX Chappy, Full Ass, TFT for Lightweight, uh, Catch uh, and Merfak, Ice Freeze, Starshack, BLX, t 32 Showtime uh, 110 again. So MOD decided to play a bit more uh, firepower and a bit more armor uh, side when they are on defense. Okay, let's uh, check what this tank got so with the younger guns and the commanders can see how uh, the tanks have been built on Copperstein. Like to see uh, first. What's most important is uh, most tanks are going, uh, which I usually use here as a, as a premium uh, ammo, full uh, APCR, full premium ammo or massive ammo of them. That's the most important thing here. That is uh, important because it shows you if you can hit the enemy, not if uh, the RNG will help you to hit the enemy. Uh, the big equipment, like you can see here, large uh, uh, repair kit, uh, large. 
medikit and uh, automatic fire extinguisher is important. The tanks with uh, good food uh, may allow themselves, like you see, what I could see here for two uh, with the good crews. It, they can take different setups, like you can see here, uh, two large uh, repair kits. Uh, some other, we will see the we will see the on some other uh, food, like here, or we can see a Coca Cola. That's the most important thing to be sure that you won't be burned because of using that, because you don't have the fire extinguisher. You must be sure what you would want to use on your crew. Uh, that's uh, what's interesting here is the build of the Chaffee, uh, small equipment. Uh, in compared to rest of the team. Well, as you can see, it's rarely uh, have uh, that's rarely visible. What's rarely visible is lack of the food on uh, autoloaders. 90%, if not 95%, autoloaders using the food. Why? Because this is the only thing that may speed up your uh, loading time and uh, your uh, reload between shells. So uh, it is really important on the autoloaders to have a foot on you so you gotta make sure what you gotta pick so let's say uh, we can see the gold sky doesn't have uh, the med kit that means his crew is uh, for sure being ready to being hitted by the enemy while in the meantime all other other boost all the other stats are boosted by the foot so better i'm time quicker i'm time uh, quicker reload uh, better uh, re reload between the shells, uh, better acceleration, travel to rails, and so on and so on and so on. Everything is has been uh, pushed up by ten. Now uh, Gold Sky getting uh, hit from uh, I'm extra I'm extra reported. <coughs> so we got uh, I'm extra uh, fifty one hundred T fifty four lightweight. I'm extra is coming to help against uh, I'm extra and T fifty four lightweight. In the meantime. Heavy tanks uh, are on advance. Uh, BWP is trying to push uh, Seba online, but they will be in a crossfire now. Yes, Krumel. Yep, perfect hit. 388 from T32. Now it's playing uh, Solofima is trying. Now what is the, what what's going to happen here? That's the most important. Uh, uh, it's the, the the BWP is doing BWP is doing the same uh, thing that was doing the MOD, but. Mm, the MOD, I think, had a much more better uh, place to react to what we can see. And they focus fire only on one tank and they are shooting the tank that is uh, on the back. Uh, it's his, his, his back to, his, to them. Now, criminal missed. Uh, Sabas has been uh, tracked. Uh, one year. If this uh, heavy tanks will manage to help uh, BWP uh, Tifertus oh, to one. Uh, from BWP, uh, MOD, MOD is focusing on the tank. Yep, that's free two for MOD now. That's changed in the second three three. Uh, we can see first finish this war. There's a catch there. There's a showtime. Showtime is on a full HP. I don't understand why he don't take some hits. Catch has been nearly done. Showtime will be too late. It's free free still. Four free. Uh, there are light tanks. Uh, Trying to shoot the, from behind. Uh, Showtime finish so you know, it's 4 4. No, Showtime is, uh, is alone against two heavy tanks. Uh, Gold Sky is turned around against. Well, I don't know if it, like, he can do anything about these two light tanks. So, uh, it depends on how long the Showtime will be able to. Oh, Showtime uh, bones the shot. How long the Showtime will be able to withstand the two tanks? I, I think it's done. He's done. He's not on exactly now. Yep. He's done. That's four, five to four for MOD. MOD is an advantage. They've got IMX 5100, which just nearly finished. And Fulas has been hit at and finished. Whoa! The light tanks has been a late. And uh, MOD winning that because the light tanks has been late. Light tanks must, absolutely must um, play really aggressive on that kind of battles. They cannot be passive here like they used to be. They cannot wait. They must be first. It's better in the uh, moment that what happens here. It was better to lose light tank. Just go and leave, let it die and uh, just keep the heavy tank. Live longer. Not uh, try to keep the uh, light tank and let the heavy tank die. And that's what happened here. And that means that we've got two near for MOD on the home map of BWP. 
which is pretty interesting uh, tide of this match. Now we're gonna see much more close combat, uh, close quarter combat, because we are gonna watch uh, the match on uh, newest addition to World of Tanks console uh, on the map Pilsen. Of course, uh, BWP is the home team, so they will be the first ones to defend themselves on the map. Okay, I've switched the size, I'll turn everyone into spectators, so no one see what tanks are being picked, and I'm gonna inform the guns, they got three minutes. Uh, three minutes to pick tanks from now on and the message has been sent <coughs> that's the home map for MOD, MOD uh, got the advantage they are winning 2-0 they won the home map uh, that was picked by BWP and now they are playing an attack on their own map the home map the map they picked let's see how it happens they must feel really strong on the Pick them up because they know they will be attacking on that map first, so they must be absolutely sure what they are doing in an attack on that map. It is worth to mention that uh, the biggest advantage M of the MOD over the other clans here is that they are absolutely really active. They're playing in two leagues at once. They're playing in German Community League GCL and they're playing in Competitive Gaming Community Pro Professional League CPL. Uh, so they play more together, more uh, their team, seven players. Their core is much more uh, getting along than other grants which only can play some scrimmage uh, or they can only play uh, some platoons uh, in the random battles. Here, uh, MOD are part of the skimmers training, so uh, play two leagues at the same time. Uh, that's exciting, but uh, that gives you much more experience as a competitive clan. That's exactly what the competitive clans are doing. They're playing, they're playing a lot, and uh, we can see uh, how it goes up with the team play, with the skill. Uh, because World of Tanks is not like Call of Duty, where only your accuracy and the reaction uh, is important. And World of Tanks is the competitive game where the tactic and team play is a major factor the se after that uh, the single player skills are going in so if your team can react on the fly can make decision on the fly depending on what happens on the map they may win even if the W and H single player stats are much much more lower than uh, your enemies we've seen that many many times and that's what happens here and of course you also need a bit the, the small at least a small luck because that's the factor that's in most games and it is a reasonable factor here of course premium ammunition uh, is uh, eliminating the factor and making smaller still there is some uh, small factor like uh, one shot uh, one shot armor act which blows up the tanks yeah uh, and may change the tide of the battle they are a really small percentage but it may happen so you gotta prepare yourself as much as possible to avoid them uh, well, not even one minute left and we will soon see yeah three minutes ago i've uh, informed the clans about tank speaking i don't want to push them too much i don't want to force them because uh, i'm as well trying to avoid uh, the situation where I have to give someone a round because he picked or not picked the, the tank. Uh, but definitely it is 3 minutes and one of the clans thought send me a message that they are ready. Now we will see something really really interesting. So, it is worth to, worth to mention, there are uh, new uh, competitive tanks on the scene and there are older competitive tanks on the scene so your setup the tanks that you picked is very very important the new clans may help themselves by uh, buying some of the competitive tanks 
and here, who is lucky enough, uh, yesterday we had a Black Friday and the offer from the director for Tiger 131 is still uh, valid, so we will be able to see how good performing tanks are Tiger uh, 131. Let's uh, sort of the roster. Full Asa, Mix Jaffe, Benf Pack and Bielik, Kais Freeze, Color XT42, Starshack Tkacze, VKs uh, 101P uh, and Showtime 110. MOD, two Tigers 131, Solofima and Liftwar, uh, Krumel and Sabasa, Ice Freeze, uh, Seba Online, uh, VK 101, David at Gold Sky, uh, Mix is uh, 5100. I'm going to move today specifically to show you how the Tigers 131 are being used in uh, competitive uh, game mode, competitive stand. That's important to see the builds of these tanks and what they are doing. They are absolutely aggressive tanks. The damage per minute is absolutely outstanding. These are typical damage dealers. We can see Amix 5100 being spotted and waiting for the occasion. What is interesting is that MOD doesn't have to rush. They've got your day time. They know they are winning. <coughs> and this is important. I believe what happened here, what, well, I, I just assume it is possible, that what happened here is that um, Chappie spotted uh, VK. Uh, they, I think they made a mistake and by accident they thought they are defending themselves, that's why they do not have a light tank. Of course I may be wrong and that was that specific, uh, special tactic by them, they maybe want to jug out an enemy from the defense positions outside and then knock them out with uh, Tiger 131 damage per minute and with uh, IMX 5100 because they uh, only Heavy armored tanks are VK and two i threes. While BWP has got two i threes, two VKs, one hundred and T thirty two. Whoever seen them in battle, those, ta those tanks, Tigers one hundred thirty one on a tier 8 on 756 format they know these tanks are a beast these are premium tanks with a uh, really good uh, penetration on the APCRs with a great rate of fire as uh, these tanks are uh, loading uh, for and a half second on average so we got about uh, 250 damage every four and a half second that's 500 damage nine second each nine second that's more than is freeze so damage per minute on that uh, tank is absolutely massive. Uh, of course, there are some disadvantages like uh, lower traverse uh, or lack of armor. But if played well from a second line, they may change the time of battle in a exactly a few seconds now. Uh, BWP know where are both Tigers 131, but they do not know where is the VK and IS freeze. Uh, they know where is the Tiger because uh, the traffic spot him and BWP adjust themselves because they think the advance of uh, MOD will go from this side. And they went pretty much far away from the cap. Steady battle, steady battle, but we know that. Uh, MOD maybe is not trying to push too much themselves, they're winning too near. But if they want to win three near, they must attack. That's uh, four minutes that uh, passed now. Nothing uh, happened to Down Tiger for 131 has been uh, shot by uh, Furas, which is now loading. Uh, so he must trying to put some blind shots, but that didn't work. So a uh, great player on the side of the Fulas. Uh, Stiger 131, Slofima lost lots of his uh, lots, lots of his HP. And another shot uh, here loaded and another and another. Oh that's nearly the end of the Tiger 141. Uh, and that was a good one from Fulas. 
he fell down when he moved, he didn't let himself to be blind uh, shotted by uh, Solofina and Solofima uh, got a uh, uh, serious damage. But Bielik has been spotted, so uh, he knows where are MC uh, 1500. They still don't know where are the heavy tanks, and this is what's gonna happen now. They're gonna uh, move patch through through the gate and push, I think. Ice with one hand and T42. That's what I uh, this what I think. That's what how it looks like from our side. But if they stay, they will close themselves for a crossfire from uh, the VKs and the I3. There are IMX 5100s here, right to help. They are advancing slowly. Yep, now they spotted and there is a fight here. So uh, everything depends on if the IMX 5100s will manage to get in here in time. The heavy tanks from uh, <coughs> BWP is trying to uh, get back and put the ISPs and VKs from the uh, and Tigers from the mode in a wrong position because they need to uh, open up their weak spot but do they manage to hide themselves be behind the VKs? I don't think so, it's one near it is a near bucket, it's two near, two one uh, nice focus fire on Savas down there now the catch has been blocked by the friends, they didn't help me, they didn't cover him yeah, no, uh, because uh, Katch is uh, trying to help him, yes, nice game, well played, Katch. That was a shot that were bounced by Katch, and he managed to help him, uh, the guys to not finish the clue, great game, but they are trying to uh, finish the showtime, they know what they are doing. Excellent in battle, I tried to get a bit further, uh, clue has been done. Massive damage per minute from Tigers 131 for every four and a half second. APCRs are shooting. Wow, 3 2. Now it's interesting. Uh, I think the Starshack was waiting too long behind. There's the Fulas down there. Yep, finishes the both of our mixes. Absolutely great game from Fulas. Now, wait for that. Change the time to battle in a few seconds. Great game from Fulas. He's trying to do that. Uh, so, no Tigers uh, 131. Uh, it's only uh, Ice Free and Sep. Great game, absolutely what happened here was brilliant. Can't say more, now uh, the most important is Fulas is reloading. He needs to finish the uh, one of the tanks, any of the tanks. Oh, miss. Engine has been done. Uh, now Krumal is uh, here uh, from one side to finish ta ta Starshak alone in a VK. Uh, he shot Krumal. Uh, so, we got Starshak nearly on full HP, we got Fulas on reload. In a light tank, in the Amix Chappy with just a few HP. Wow! Seba Online is uh, bouncing the shot from the Starshack from behind. Starshack finishing Krummel. <coughs> and uh, plus going to finish the Seba. Um, uh, bounced. Starshack is gonna change. Yeah. One shot. It's one shot from Starshack now. If he hits the Seba, Seba is done. Yep, he did it! 7-5, BWP managed to defend themselves on a uh, home time picked by MOD, so we got 2-1 now. Absolutely great battle, great game, as we have been seen there. I think those IMXs 5100 was not a great idea to be picked. We can see by the damage, the amount of shots fired, the amount of hits and the amount of plantations on these tanks. Uh, looks like they weren't the best idea to be picked. Uh, the amount of shots fired by Tigers is absolutely massive, yeah. <laughs> that was a bad shooting from uh, Slovima. Great game by VK, by catch absolutely, as you can see. It's worth to check and see how many uh, blocked damage we've got here, yeah. So VK is massive amount of damage and blocked, so these are the tanks. And 3,300 damage by Fulas, IMX Chaffee, absolutely brilliant game. That's I think was his uh, game life and he did the game for that, he de definitely won that game for BWP. 2-1, MOD is winning against BWP, now BWP is gonna attack uh, MOD on uh, MOD map. Let's see what will happen here in a moment. Uh, so, uh, that was unfortunate. Click. MOD now on defense. BWP is attacking. What uh, happened here is absolutely great, great, absolutely outstanding game by Fulas on his uh, AMX Chaffee. He just done the game. 
300, 3300 damage. 33. Wow. Massive on IMX traffic. That is massive. I win from crimes. They got 3 minutes to pick tanks from now on. Message sent. Now let's see if BWP will be able to do a massive comeback and win again on the map that uh, MOD picked for themselves. Uh, make it a draw to two and pick them up for a tiebreaker or MOD on their map will be able to defend themselves and the game will finish with the score 3-1 for MOD. No, let's see. One more round on Pizno or one round on Pizno and a tiebreaker on a map picked by BWP. Let's see what will happen soon. Like I said, like we told, the most important here is the reaction, the tactics, and what showed us the Furas. His brilliant uh, reaction, he brilliant, uh, made his brilliant team, made absolutely outstanding what he done. He picked, the, he made, whoa, that was uh, my bad. He picked the decision. Uh, I informed them. WP. <laughs> I removed fire from BWP by accident. This, this, this thing happens uh, as there is no like special way or oh, maybe I, I should have it like that for next time that's uh, for sure you cannot kick yourself <laughs> I think I never tried to be honest but we know that Fulas, what, what Fulas have done a moment ago was absolutely outstanding this is what makes a good team the what was done by the catch or you know that they were the VK was absolutely great game as well. He managed to get in uh, and cover T32 from being destroyed, blocked some damage, take some hits uh, with uh, hitting the other tanks, with uh, ramming the tanks. He made them not uh, hitting onto the target. So great game uh, by Tkach Origino as well. Uh, I think the only second VK could be more more aggressive and could make that uh, battle even more on this uh, favored uh, the battle more on the side of the BWP but still uh, with the massive firepower from Moody they were able on their own path uh, to uh, win an attack against BWP and which I mentioned the MOD which won the first runs on uh, BW, BWP map uh, home map uh, MOD has got a bit much much more bit better uh, WN8 as a clan on average but like uh, uh, I am always saying to mention, don't always think only about W8. It's not the most important. It can show how you perform on some certain tanks, but it only on a certain situa situation and based on a, a random battles where you must may be absolutely lucky or absolutely unlucky. But here you got a controlled environment. You got a 7v7. Uh, you make your decisions and uh, CPL website, cplspost.com is tracking your progress, the, it's tracking your games so you can show everyone uh, what was the scores of your games, uh, you can show everyone how many games you won and against which clans and or how many games you lost against each clans and how. That's m uh, really important uh, statistic that is not tracked by uh, WOT console portal info. Come on guys, come on. Hello? 
definitely BWP showed themselves uh, as a really strong rank because after the first two uh, lost runs on their home map they didn't send there they put themselves together and played absolutely brilliant round on Pilsen. Experienced fans, experienced players, great rounds to watch for everyone. A lot of shooting, lots of interesting uh, actions, lots of interesting decisions, interesting tank picks. That's what you can see here. That's what you can learn. Believe me, most of these guys on their competitive tanks, the tanks that they are using for competitive gaming, are having similar builds in uh, random games as well. So it's not like they are changing build for every single game, absolutely. Um, they definitely switch some ammo, but usually the equipment is the same. They must be sure what they are doing in the machine they pick. If you pick T32, you must be absolutely sure what you are doing in T32. You must know how to play it. You won't be good in T32, pardon, if you were playing only, let's say, uh, uh, WT Alp E100. So definitely you are not a good T32 player if, you, if that's the only thing that you're playing is autoloader, uh, tank destroyer. <laughs> so it is a lot of the skill and experience that's needed in the world of tanks. The learning uh, step, the learning step curve is absolutely massive here. Okay, we are ready. Let's see what will happen now. Uh, we can see a uh, small changes in the rosters. And MOD on defense, uh, map Pilsen, the newest addition for World of Tanks PS4, well-known map on the PC. Looks different here. I'm not sure if the color the sun, the time of day they picked for the map is perfect, but it's not bad, it's not bad. So, um, MOD Ritual, MX Chappie, uh, David and Solofima, Ice Freeze, Krumel, uh, T32, Sebo Online and Savas, VK is 101P, Gold Sky, MX50, 100, uh, BWP, Full Ass, MX Chappie, Merpak and Gilek, yes, Ice Freeze, Kluv, T32, Star Shack and Catch, VK is uh, Showtime, 110. This time MOD decided to pick with themselves an IMX Chaffee. And uh, the light tanks are gonna spot themselves pretty soon, I think. Or not. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I finally managed <coughs> to work out uh, the tracking camera, which is supposed to work normally, but as we got the additional director's camera here, it doesn't work as it's supposed to be. And yeah, both Chaffees seen themselves exactly at the same time. That means the both Chaffees have similar builds, the both Chaffees have uh, similar crews. At the same time, Kluiv was shooting down there and had been spotted as well. There is a short time behind him. While VK is the, the, the most tough tanks are waiting. So, we're gonna see, or we're gonna see the enemy uh, traffic battle. Now, well done. Uh, Fulas somehow managed to spot the Rift War, but the Rift War didn't manage to spot the Fulas. Of course, it may be different. It's T32 110 sported the Ripple, well. not the Fulas himself. And the Ripple is staying, starting to uh, slowly fall back closer to his teammates uh, while BWP is trying to advance. That's a risky play from the Fulas at this moment. Open wide. Yep, sported with the Ripple. Well. He may get the additional fire from the f uh, teammates from behind, if there are, and of course, yeah, because he doesn't know that. 
that's a risky play, yeah, definitely. At the same time, BWP is starting to advance farther and farther in, into the enemy lines. Um, there's a high chance that the enemy Shafi will soon spot them. Kulas has been spotted, he's still spotting Shafi and <coughs> oh, we gave up that light tank at the moment as let's see what's going on here because they are really close to the battle yep they spotted themselves now it's gonna happen something and first uh, shot bounced uh, there is a cliff down there uh, missing him there's a 100 missing uh, the shafi as well uh, and there is a full uh, shooting to the right where is where on two shots one more shot showtime has been hit from the back uh, but managed to uh, finish it where there's one near uh, they've lost the light tank now uh, my pack on focus uh, but they are VKs here. They are the VK, the VKs, the VKs are there as well. A lot of shooting, lots of shooting here. An absolutely great position from Kruma. Let's see. And that's it. He hits perfectly because he managed to put into crossfire uh, Starshack and catch. Catch can be uh, one shot at the moment. I managed to bounce. There is a flash here. I don't understand why the Merv pack and uh, Bielik moved there for the T32. Uh, leaving that catch to be finished and starts to finish. There is a clue even showtime down there. Uh, the David has been finished, but does the showtime and clue manage to help Starshak? Does that catch will survive enough long enough? Because the weakest uh, well, Starshak still uh, still bouncing, still fighting now. Wha nice uh, shots from 110s. That's what's going on. It's a lot of action. They managed to finish the crew. That was a good uh, outplay from the Bielik and Mer pack. It's 3 1. Uh, they managed to finish Starshak. Uh, the, I think they pick a, a bad decision because they focused uh, VK's first and that's the best decision. B great finish uh, by uh, Showtime. Uh, the catch has been done yeah, and that means that they took took in a lot of time to do the, to finish the VK's. But still, even that, what happens here is absolutely outstanding. BWP massive comeback after first two lost runs. We will see definite tiebreaker. Uh, another great win by BWP. Yep, it is 7-2 for BWP. They they just stand up yeah, after the first two there. wins. They winning two rounds. They lost the whole map. Two wins. That's a lot of pressure on them. And then they win the map picked by enemies. So great, great game again. Uh, plus great damage. Uh, VKs done what they need to. Like, like we see, two 2k damage uh, bounced. Uh, 780 damage bounced. VK did the job, uh, some additional uh, small shots bonds by other tanks. Here, same VKs were trying to do their job, and some additional damage bonds on other on other tanks. Yeah, but uh, well played, BWP and Moody didn't manage uh, to win on them up. So we got interesting, interesting situation here because both teams are playing. Um, I, I lost the maps uh, by two points. I will ask them what map, which map we are for. Uh, as the BWP which map they would like to play. It's 2-2, uh, two, two. both uh, clans lost their home maps. That's important. So we we're gonna see a tiebreaker. Which will be picked by WP, Ghost Town. So yep, we're gonna see the Ghost Town. Here you go, Ghost Town. As a tiebreaker, BWP is gonna defend themselves on a ghost town as on a tiebreaker. We got 2-2 two -two in scores. You guys got 3 minutes to pick tanks from now on. Okay. Tiebreaker, 2-2, two -two. tiebreaker. BWP is gonna defend themselves on a ghost town. Interesting map to pick on.
let's see what will happen. This is the second game uh, I am hosting tonight and the second game uh, there's a lot of action, the, the match is pretty much even uh, and uh, the second game where we are supposed to see a tiebreaker. In the last one uh, tiebreaker in the end wasn't played because one of the uh, clans did a mistake and did not did, and did overpick one of the tanks. So uh, the home team decided by the rules to give them a loss down they won 3-2. Uh, but I don't think there will be an overpicking here because we've got seven players on each side. So I won't I won't think that there should anything happen. Those clans are familiar with rulers, those clans are familiar with competitive playing, those clans are familiar with CPL rulers, uh, MODR additional is familiar with FGCL rulers. Um, so these clans know what they are doing. They know how to pick the tanks, they know how to not make a mistakes uh, in the training rooms on picking tanks. Of course, mistakes happen. Pardon my French, but uh, everyone used to say shit happens. And if that happens, you have only two options. If you are still fighting, uh, you've got the option. Uh, if there's an option that your enemy will let you play, or there's an option that you are gonna lose the round by the rules. BWP informed us they are ready. Now we're only they, they're waiting for MOD and they are ready as well, so let's play! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, CPL Major, uh, BWP versus MOD tiebreaker ghost town map. Uh, let's see what happens here. Definitely something uh, interesting is gonna happen here because we've got on a 756 uh, format game tier 8 artillery on attacker's side. So uh, defenders cannot hide on JO, defenders cannot hide on BO as well because they need to cover the tanks from artillery fire. But what makes it uh, difference when you got an artillery? You got less of the uh, heavy tanks and that's important as well. Okay, let's see what that the, the clans decided for us to do. Let's see how they build an artillery which I, I rarely have occasion to see. Full premium ammo, you are not shooting APs on artillery. You are not shooting them uh, on uh, random battles, you are not shooting them on community gaming. That's simple. Learn from the best players, learn from the best ones. Uh, so, MOD advancing from two sides. They've got uh, IMX 5100 hidden here. So, what's most important? They rely on IMX Chaffee, that's important. And now Ritual is getting hits from Full Ass. Ay, 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 Ritual in a uh, seriously. Uh, dangerous situation, uh, but uh, Fulas has been under the shots from the uh, tanks from behind, <coughs> from Art as well. It probably got some uh, damage. So, uh, MOD relies on, on um, in the uh, main factor now on Elite War, on MX Chaffee, and uh, on some spots from uh, their heavy tanks, because they are going to play on their artillery. That's important factor. Uh, Fulas taking a risk, he wants to, he would like to try to finish the Elite War. Ah, missed. That's important. Another miss. Uh, Fulas takes his uh, chance, but lost, and probably, yeah, the Sabas is gonna hit him soon. Fulas managed to uh, disappear, so no blind shots from Marty. Uh, Ritwar needs to uh, go a bit to the back. I think he will move to reload. Sabas is waiting. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Risky, really risky, but what's most important, the MOD is not trying to outspot BWP. BWP is on a so bad position. Let's see the. Oh, let's see the clue if, if he can be stood here on the side. No, he can't. He's standing. Oh, he's standing on the back. But can be hit by RT with easy. Yeah, it can be hit by RT with easy. All of them nearly apart, I think, of the short time. can be hit by RT with easy. So, uh, now it's an interesting situation and danger for uh, Fulas. He's going to spot the second flank. Uh, he will get the spot from IMX 5100, I think. Depends on who's gonna spot the first one. 
Yeah, he managed to spot the 5100s. Good game by him. But there's a Savas down there. He moved down there as well <coughs> after the 5100s. <coughs> so, uh, will BWP survive the pressure from MOD? They need to defend themselves for next 7 minutes and 15 seconds. They can see where is the and Fulas has been spotted now. Fulas in a bit uh, dangerous situation. There's a lift where uh, running after them. There is a seven line down there. They are 5100s and Fulas getting a shot. And that's a massive amount of HP for uh, Chaffee. Chaffee is a, a really, really fragile tank. Absolutely fragile. There's, there's the 600 HP on it. It's, it's, it's nearly killing the tank as a. You need to be a really, really good player to use it. As we can see, this is a good choice. I mean, Chaffee is a premium tank, and whoever managed to uh, get it on his hands definitely do not regret that. Now, uh, BWP has been spotted, and Art is shooting uh, 638 damage on uh, uh, Starshack. Yeah. Uh, BWP is supposed to, I think, uh, got uh, a bit to the back because if they stay down there, they can be easily out uh, shot by uh, artillery that's defended by a mixed chaffy. But that's a uh, half, uh, nearly half of the game. Plus, trying to gently spot other side now. Elite War is defending artillery, so it's not like Art is alone. Elite War feels as he is not spotted from the left side. There's the IMX, IMX 50, and it are not spotted. And uh, so you see Art is 686, Bialik, uh, massive damage from Art is going on here. So like I said, the t 32 so none of the tanks from the BWB can stay where they are standing to not be shot. Flask has been spotted. Uh, great position by uh, Ritual hidden behind the bush. And now Sabas is going to try and one shot the Fulas. If Fulas won't hide quickly and change position, he may be. Oh, he's showing that where he is exactly by damaging the. by damaging uh, environment. You, I don't think uh, there's a chance that Fulas can outspot Rift War, which is hidden in the bush. And there is IMX 5100 that's going to help the Rift War and the artery. So Fulas has been spotted again. And that's, I think, really, really risky. Four minutes. BWP needs to defend themselves for another 4 minutes and they are gonna win the game. While well, in the meantime, Sabas is trying to find himself a better shooting position for the BWP tanks. Absolutely, def definitely, he's got a great uh, a position to shoot T32 and the T32 has been spotted now, so yeah, and exactly what I said, that's uh, Arty. 432 and uh, we're gonna see the push from the ice piece yep we can see it they decided do they got three and a half minutes to win the game and the amix 5100s are gonna hit in the uh, side the, of the ice piece yet they are and now that's the situation here and uh, i think they're gonna finish the show time definitely yeah he's got no chance there he's been finished and now mail pack what he can do uh, there's an Arty, there's a massive push, it's 2-1 for them. Uh, it's a dangerous situation now there. Arty is nearly here in the middle of the battle. Uh, Merfpak uh, nearly finished. I think they're gonna, they're gonna finish him. Uh, I'm excited one are reloading. Uh, there's advance of Tkach. Tkach is a bit too late here, I think. There's a Starshack here, there's an Arty here. Next to, to everyone, close quarter combat. That's what you can see. Uh, he missed with Arty. If the